The simple looking notepad built into Windows is great for taking notes and writing basic code. But if that's all you're using it for, you're missing out on the other cool features and tricks that are hiding within that might surprise you. So coming up, I'll show you tricks with Notepad that can help you with productivity, along with some others that are meant just for fun. Let's get started. Let's start with the more useful ones first. For this one, here's how you can have Notepad automatically add a time and date stamp every time you open the file. This can be helpful if you keep journals or logs to keep track of things over time. Open Notepad. You can find it in search by typing Notepad. At the very top, in all caps, type a period and then LOG. Now you'll want to save this file, so go to File, and then select Save As. Name it anything you want. I'll just call this one log.txt. Then click on Save. And I'll close this out. Now you'll see when I reopen the file, a time and date stamp has been added. I'll add a note. You can also insert a time and date stamp manually by hitting F5 on your keyboard. Another way is to go to edit and select time slash date. This is great for taking quick notes where you need a time reference. This next one is more of a tip than trick. Since Notepad first launched way back in 1983, it's always had a light theme, which for some can cause eye strain. A couple years ago, they finally added a dark theme to Notepad that's easier on the eyes. If you want to switch to the dark theme, go to Settings here in the upper right corner. In Appearance, where it says App Theme, click the drop down arrow. You have three choices light, dark, and use system setting. In your Windows settings, if you don't have it set to dark mode, choose dark here. If you do, select Use System Setting. This will be a quick one you can try out on your own. Prior to printing a document from Notepad, you can change how the header and footer looks when printed. On the screen are the commands for alignment and additional stuff to print like the date and current time. To use these, go to File and select Page Setup. For example, if you wanted to align the header to the left, you would input the and sign and the letter L. And another example, if you wanted to print the current date in the footer, enter the and sign and the letter D. For additional information about these codes, they have a link here that you can click on where it says input values. This will open a web page to get help using commands. It also shows the various commands that can be used when printing. This next trick will let you open any website using Notepad. To do this, type start, add a space, followed by the URL of any website. I've already copied it, so I'll paste it here. And for this one, I'm using the site for iFixit. To save it, go to File, Save As. And this has to be a bat file, so I'll name this one iFixit.bat and save it. Now when you double click that file you had created, it will open the website you had entered. Now for some fun tricks, we'll call this one the matrix code effect. It simulates the green code falling, which is similar to what is seen in the popular film, The Matrix. I'll make this easy for you. You could type this simple batch script into Notepad or copy and paste it from the description of this video. Whichever you do, you'll want to save the file as a bat file, and we'll call it matrix.bat. When you double click on the file, you'll see this falling green code effect. In an earlier video, I showed you how to create a desktop shortcut to shut down your computer. Entering this code into Notepad or copying it from this video's description will have the same effect. When you go to save it, You'll want to save it as a VBS file. Name it whatever you want. I'll call it shutdown.vbs, then click Save. Now when you double click that file, your system will turn off. This VB script makes it so your computer can speak to you. 
This one's also in the description of this video. After creating this with Notepad, the text you entered gets spoken out loud for you. We'll save this one as a VBS file and name it speak.vbs. Click Save. Double click on the file, enter your text. When you're done with that, click on OK. Would you like to play a game? Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you use a cool notepad trick not mentioned, let me know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our latest tutorials and other tech-related stuff.